In this video, we're going to build on the send to port by expression tutorial and show you how to route the flow of objects using labels. We'll use the same model layout that we used in the last tutorial, with a source, three conveyors, and two sinks. Double-click to open the Sources property window, go to the Triggers tab, and use the red X to delete the onCreation trigger. In its place, let's add an onCreation trigger called Create and Initialize Label. Change the label name to Port and the deuniform value to open paren 1, comma 2, close paren, which will randomly assign a label to each created item. The label will be titled port and will include a value of either 1 or 2. Let's also add an on exit trigger to color our items. Choose set color and for the value select get label num from the drop down list. Replace the word label within the quotation marks to the label name, which is port. Click OK to save and close the window. Double click on the first conveyor now and click on the flow tab. Click the drop down menu for send to port and choose by expression. The default option is get item type open paren item close paren. So we need to select get label num open paren item comma label close paren from the drop down menu. Replacing the word label between the quotation marks to our label name, which is port. By expression means that items are being routed depending on their values. In this case, the value of the port label. A value of 1 means the items will go to port 1, and so forth. Click Reset and run the model. You'll notice two items being created. Red items are item type 1, and green items are item type 2. Red items have label value 1, so they will be routed through port 1, while green items are routed only to the other conveyor. Thank you for watching. For more information on Flexim products, or to view more tips and tricks for successful modeling, please visit www.flexim.com.